Hey, welcome back with another little feature demo for you guys. Today we're going to show you how you can make your TypeScript templates a lot more easy to read, so stay tuned. Typo 3 version 9 is well on its way and we're going to show you a little neat thing that we have for your TypeScript stuff. So, if we head over, I now have a introduction package running on version 9.2 dev, which is basically master currently. Um, and what I want to show you is that we have a proper back end and we also have a proper front end, hopefully. So we reloaded this, everything works. What I'm going to show you is if we head over into our TypeScript setup, that there's a lot of include TypeScript things right here. And we came up with a neat little new syntax which is easier to understand and basically should solve all the problems you have. So let's dive right in. So as you can see here, we have a lot of helpers that are being registered on top with the include TypeScript setup. And we now have a new shorthand syntax, which basically does the same thing. So we just need to keep the X path right here and remove that. And you can now basically type add or not. Oh, my add sign is broken. Add import TypeScript, put it in single quotes, and this basically does the exact same thing. So if we save this and head back to our backend, clear the caches once, and then head over to the front end and reload this, it shall all still work. And it's loading, and now it's done, and it still works. So if we want to clean up the entire file, what I'm going to use here is I'm going to hit Command R, let me close this, hit Command R to get to the search and replace part, and what I'm going to do here is I'm basically saying that it should go look for include nah, mistyping typescript source equals file colon and replace all these with add import and a single quote. Now I'm going to cross check that I found all the right places and scroll down below so I don't find or hit anything which I don't want to necessarily have. And a neat little thing about PHP Storm is that it will actually tell me on the right hand side where it has found matches for that. So we're only on the top bit here, so this is the part we need to check. So we're going to replace all of these. Now what's remaining is this bits here at the end. And how can we properly, uh, properly replace those? we're going to search for double quote, closing bracket. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see it matches a lot of stuff. But on the right hand side here in the scroll bar, we can now see it would also match these two. And this is obviously not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the new line button right here and say that it should look for nat sign at the beginning um, of the next line. The important thing is that we then want to replace that with a single quote, also add a new line, and it should also replace the add sign. So again, we double check, scroll down, all these hits are positives, and we now replace all of these. What's now remaining is all the new lines that don't have the add import on the next line, and these are the ones we need to manually fix but this is just here and here and here and there should be a last one right down here. Whoops. So we're going to replace this one as well. Save that, close it down and now you can see that most of the stuff that didn't fit into one line now actually fits. So it's a lot shorter, easier to maintain and to be honest a bit more straightforward because you know the add import syntax from YAML files as we did in the rich text editor configuration video already. So 
We're now saving all this. We now head back into our backend, clear all our front-end caches, and try to reload. And if everything goes well, this will work in the aftermath. So we're going to reload this. It's now going to find all the files. And in a couple of seconds, we're done, and we can see that basically our introduction package still works, which proves that the change in Tableau 3 core works as well. So here you have it. It's a little change that would make your TypeScript files more easy to read, a shorter syntax, more concise, and less things to remember at different places. As usual, if you have any comments, leave them in the box below. We'll get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next week. Bye.